Aren't gay people are illegal? It's also illegal to be gay. Also, LGBTQ is banned. These are comments under one of my videos. They all about the law 377A, which criminalized sex between men in Singapore. Yes, Singapore is a beautiful place for people from all over the world. If you're smart enough and have proper skills, please come to work and live in Singapore. Meet Sam, he's gay and he lives in Singapore. This is Singapore, right? they don't give a shit about your status. And he's a stand-up comedian. I'm a guy saying my things. And now you're gonna find out how to be gay in Singapore where it was illegal for a long time. Yeah, my name is Max, let's go. <laughs> the gay scene in Singapore, how new is it? We know there are some like restrictions, regulations, some social thing about like being gay in Singapore? We've been here for generations. Like even before Thailand, we were the original sort of Thailand of Southeast Asia. We were the hub of gender reassignment surgery back in like the 60s and 70s. And like, there was a very vibrant queer scene. And then in the 70s and 80s, like most places, it got more vibrant and got shut down by the government. And then kind of in the 2000s, we kind of picked up again. 90s, we had some issues. We had people getting arrested, raids on gay clubs and nightclubs and everything. Oh, really? Yeah, so it wasn't, it wasn't pretty. But in the 2000s, they kind of realized they had to modernize. So we, we're still illegal to be gay, but we, we're fighting back. We've got Ping Dot, which is our yearly protest event where we sort of like try to fight for the freedom to be ourselves. And, and now, like, there's just so many events. Like, the fact that we can have a bar where there's a gay flag flying outside and the cops aren't harassing us anymore, we've come a long way. How divided this? So, like, like the gay scene and, like, uh, lesbian, and others. The gays are like the majority shareholder of entertainment and parties. Yeah. The lesbians have their own night, but it's kind of like a weird thing where like gays and lesbians don't always, they don't hang out, we'll, we'll hang out in bars. But when it comes to like parties, it's like y'all go do your gay shit there, the lesbians do their lesbian shit there. Trans people desperately trying to get into both and then, you, you know how people are, they're asshats. Let, let trans people into our party spaces, that's what I say. There's a cab, it's gonna run us over now, we gotta move. He don't care this is an interview, this is Singapore, right? they don't give a shit about your status or your faith. You could be PewDiePie, they'll still run you over, they don't care. They really don't yeah. care here. And there are many bars, like gay bars in Singapore? No, uh, including this one we have about, I would say four, four major gay bars in Singapore. I guess if you're a girl and you step in and you probably feel uncomfortable. Not really, I mean if you're a girl no. in a gay bar, you're fine. They ain't touching yeah. you, they ain't interested in various ways, they are not interested. Yeah. Plus, it's also there are lesbian bars if that's your persuasion. And there's, of course, there's, there's a lot of straight bars if you want to be straight somewhere. What happens if I come to the, this bar, for example? Would I be, like, welcomed? You got money? Uh, yeah. Hey, come on in. We'll take your money. We don't care. This is the one that serves the strongest drinks. You ain't walking out of here. That's why you go to a gay bar. You gotta be drunk for whatever happens next. When you discovered to be a gay, like, when was it and how was it? I was 14 years old. I kind of knew before that because yeah. before that, when you were a kid around like 12 to 13, you know, your friends are like, here's porn. And I'm like, eh, it's okay. And you're like looking through the categories, like, uh, uh, and I find this. I was like, oh, this is really fun. What's it? Gay. I guess I like gay. And I'm like, oh shit, I am gay, I guess. Thanks, porn. So basically, I discovered I was gay through porn. Okay, before we go there, I shoot another video with the gay guy from Singapore. And if I see your likes on this video, we will post it as well. But I'm not sure if you like this topic or not. So if you want more, like this video, subscribe to this channel. And I see you in the next video. I was growing up as a gay kid in, in Singapore. It was rough when, once you realize it gets rougher. Because when I was a kid, I was precocious. Like, there, it was the kind of thing where school was like, hey, send in this assignment. And I'm like, what if I made it a movie? Or what if I made it a flip book? And everyone was like, boo, he's different, kill him. And like, nah. And that was before the gay stuff. So now I was gay and different. So I was really hateable. And I was an annoying kid. So I was definitely punchable. So it was difficult till I got to be about 18 and I entered a polytechnic or technical college for the Americans. And from there I got to find my own cliques. I get to discover I got to discover like drinking holes like this that helped me sort of be more comfortable with my sexuality, yeah. drag shows and also at that time there was much more accessible queer entertainment in uh, in the world, in the whole sphere. It was like Glee had just come out, drag race was just about to start. 
So it was a it was a different time. Yeah. I, I think it got it got easier growing up. No doubt about that. So you think it's it's better now, or it's still like cruel to it's, be in local school? It's uh, better now, but there's just new challenges. It's a lot easier to find the resources to to uh, get help. It's easier to find people that can help you. But the problem with the internet is that there's a lot more ways for people to go. Hell, screw this guy. I hope he gets killed. Let's bully him online. Let's dox him and all that. Yeah. Like you you know better. This is YouTube. Like anyone can do terrible shits in the comments. Don't don't you go down there. I know you're already in the comments typing mean shit. Don't fucking do it. Jackass. I know where you live. And then Polytechnic, yeah. It, that was kind of fine for you? Yeah, it was much better there. That's when the resources came out. That's when I was more comfortable to come out myself. And honestly, like, I don't know how good or bad it is for like queer community to say this, but honestly, drinking establishments did help because these are places where it was uh, the whole idea of going for drinks. It's like, okay, it's like you can cut loose, can be easy, but now you can do it with people who are like you. People you can trust, people that you feel safe around. So honestly, gay bars and gay cups helped me to find out more about myself. For a long time, the section 377A was unenforced in Singapore. And in November 2022, Singaporean Parliament voted for repealing the law. But for the gay community, it seems to be only a half measure. So like now you don't have any problems with your like social life, personal life, because, because you're gay? Socially, no, but uh, financially, politically, I still do. Like, for example, I can't get married in this country. If I get married somewhere else and come back, it's not recognized. If I pass on, my partner cannot get my uh, get my assets unless I write a will. My partner cannot see me in a in an emergency room because I'm not immediate family. There's a whole bunch of stuff. If I die and my parents aren't exactly very, they're not jazzed about me being gay. He can't ex he won't be exactly be welcome at the funeral. Nor can he influence what happens at the funeral. Yeah. So yeah, there's all the kind of issues. You think it should be changed? Definitely, but yeah. how it gets changed, it's a it's a long process. I think the fight for equal rights is never over. Yeah. Women are still fighting for their rights after God, more than 100, 200 years of the suffragette movement. Yeah. It takes time. But the most important thing is that be patient, but also be resilient, but also be demanding. We, gotta, we have to ask for what we want and we need to get what we deserve. Are there any like, tools in Singapore to express your opinion like if you want to change things for example if you want to change like some regulations i mean that's, that's why we have ping dot ping dot has been our way to sort of show the uh the powers that be and the conservative public that hey there are a huge number of us we are a sizable uh group of people that can fight back and to the powers that be we are showing them hey we are a sizable voter block we are slowly tipping the scales to be more favorable to gay people every year so the longer you take to this the more likely we're not going to vote for you and kick you out of office. So you're going to have to make a move eventually. And they've been trying to placate people. They, they want to make moves, but it's they, they're not going to make some... No matter what they do, we're not going to be satisfied till we get equal rights. That's a very easy thing for us to say. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, if you let us, you make us uh, legal, we, we definitely won't ask for gay marriage. No, why would we do that? Just, just you know, make us legal. We'll, we'll never demand that, no. Hmm. <laughs> Do you know some foreigners from, I don't know, from Europe, from the States who come here and they are gay and they are kind of okay living in Singapore? Of course they do. they're okay being gay in Singapore. They got money. They got money, yeah. They got money, so they're okay. They're also not from here, so if anything bad happens, they can still go back to their own, their own countries where they are legally recognized. Yeah. Also because they have money, they don't have to worry about like if they get married, what about housing, is it cheaper? They don't worry about getting loans as a, as a, uh, as a sort of marriage unit because they got money yeah. so of course it's easier for them i'm not saying all people don't worry I, we got poor expats here too don't you worry your asses off about that we got broke people here too half of your jokes based on like being a gay for you and like you're pretty open you speak openly about it this is season four of stand up asia and i'm the first openly gay comedian on the in the entire show's run thank you so how do you feel like you feel any like fear or you're, you're okay speaking about it like, out loud? I'm fine now, I, I ain't popular yet, so I don't have to care. <laughs> if I'm popular, I gotta worry, but for now, I'm, I'm fine. And plus, this is what I am, I don't feel like, I am a bad human being, I don't feel like, oh, I am the spokesperson, or I am the role model, I'm not, I'm a guy saying my things. If some people like it, that's great. If some people relate to it, that's fantastic. But I don't come in with the purpose of, I'm here to fight the good fight. I'm, I'm just here to be me. 
and if being me represents something that's good, hey, I'll take it. I travel around the region a lot and performing in, I've performed multiple times in country where it's not just illegal, it is like, it's heavy penalties. Like I've, I've done comedy as a gay man in Brunei where they were proposing to stone gay people to death as like a legal law, not, not Sharia, legal president. So uh, you just do it. You, on co in comedy, you kill on stage or you die on stage. And in my case, I could literally die on stage. So <laughs> hey, just, just make things a little bit more spicy. Speaking about the other countries in the region, Thailand is, I guess, is pretty open about yes. it. At the time of recording, they just recently decided to recognize same-sex unions. And what about other countries like Malaysia, Indonesia? Malaysia, there are parts of it where you can still be caned, yeah. publicly flogged in the town square for being gay. Yeah. Uh, Indonesia, same thing as well. Brunei, rock concert. And yeah, and it's and it changes like in various regions as well. There are places like Myanmar, Vietnam, where it's like it's not illegal, but it's like that kind of like. Mm. And also, if they beat you up for being gay, the cops ain't exactly gonna be helping you much because yeah. it's just a, what are you gonna do? Well, you're gay. That's your fault for being gay. So Singapore is is doing is doing okay. We're doing fantastic. Yeah. yeah.